Hello, thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm back in the set of Corsa Competizione. I wanted to do a quick 20 minute race around the Zolder circuit in what I've come to call my McLaren, because <laughs> it's the kind of car that I've decided to stick with. Um, I want to add a little bit of day and night cycle into this one, so I wanted to see how uh, the Unreal Engine within this game handles the day and night transition you know, in VR, see if it's as slick as the Madness Engine. Um, it probably will look really, really nice, but obviously wanted to try it out. So I'm going to start the race around 6pm, and I've got time progression turned up to 12 times. So throughout the 20-minute race, we should see a nice transition into night. Um, should be fun. Uh, I'm probably going to crash a lot, but, you know, stick around, stay tuned, and uh, find out. Right, I am in ninth position. Get the car started up. Twenty minutes around Zolder. Fair lap one, I'm not going to try and be a hero or anything because I've got cold right. tyres. Right. <laughs> Audi in front getting uh, a bit out of shape over the kerb. Another Audi at my backside. I'm going to look at the inside already. I'm quite sure he's open to achieve here. Almost forgot to turn. That's a massive, great big load of jittery frame rate through that section because ACC doesn't like it when I record in VR. Unfortunately, I don't make too many ACC videos because it's not all that pleasant. <laughs> all right, so as well. Not only that, it's actually it makes it a little bit more difficult to drive when the frame rate's crap. through there, over the curb. It's Audi breathing down my neck now, just trying to stay focused. Not make any mistakes. I don't think Zold is actually a very easy track to overtake on because the straights are all quite short and they're always followed by some severe corner such as this one which isn't 90 degrees, it's a bit more and we get this nice little straight which is followed up by a, a chicane. And then we get the start finish street, which of course has got turn one after it, and that's not particularly uh, fast. We've got to get through these complex of corners.
caught the AI up there quite nicely. These guys are set to 93 at the moment. He hit the bricks a little sooner than I was going to and uh, just caught him on the rear corner. Yeah, I didn't do too much damage to my car. I've got to avoid those sausages on those curbs because they really do upset the car. Better rotation. I'll try and get the run on these guys now out of that corner. I think I have done, but it won't be enough. I'll send it up the inside. Car on the right. Try and stop myself in between the McLaren right. and the Audi. And over the sausages we go. Is the only option. My uh, shock absorbers didn't come through the bonnet. Trying to feather the throttle out of that chicane as I straighten the steering up. Oh, we've gone very, very wide. Giving the Audi a chance to catch up a little bit. We can just hold him at bay, but we've got a severe amount of rotation. And we're going around, and it's just a total disaster. <laughs> There's three, four places gone. It's probably... Uh, I'm probably in last now because I think there's only about 16 cars on this grid. Let's have a quick look. Now I'm in 11th, so there's a. I find over the course of any given lap, or when I do a good lap, I am much faster than the AI. But I can't drive like that consistently, and I think that's my problem. It's, uh, my consistency sucks. There's my uh, tyre marks from last lap, leading off into the barrier. Thankfully, I managed to avoid.
very hard when you're this close to the car in front to just not stare at it. I'm trying to keep an eye on the truck and look at my curbs, look at the apexes, look at the exits. Try and take a tighter line in, maybe I can get up inside. Didn't work. See if I can get alongside now and it's upright slightly. There we go. No, he's still there. <laughs> I think they're all right. I find though in this track, the only place I ever take really is to lunge them, but. I'm not, I'm not correct in saying that, I know I'm not. A skill driver will do it by gaining through the corners and then overtaking on the straights. Follow my old tire tracks. an odd part of the racetrack that is, it just feels like I'm just crashing over curbs very clumsily. Turn my headlights on. Bit rough over there, I didn't really need to go that deep into the curb. Fastest lap so far. Fastest lap so far is a 133 dead. Yeah, there's people out there who'll do this in 128 easy.
That's why I don't race online. I just get trashed. I usually find I'm about five seconds off the pace of any anybody else. Really able to make a move on this car in front. All I can see is glowing turbos and glowing exhausts. Okay, let's try and just open this corner up a little more. See, I can get the run on them through there, through that last corner, but by the time I get past them on the street, it's time to break and I... Outbreaking them through the chicane right. is a little bit tricky. Car on the right. So I'm talking about with Zolder. He's still there. Gear on the right. Taking the racing line, no matter what. I've been told I'm clear, so. There he is, right up my ass. All his lights are on. Probably dark now. A little too fast inside there, we're gonna lump it over the sausages on the way out. This corner, oh fucking hell! Got some oh, we've had a bit of a crash. Oh well, I was going well, and I stole the car. Let's just try and get it turned around. Come on, come on, come on! I think my bonnet's my bonnet's loose. Well, I was doing okay. All it takes is one little mistake and uh, that's it, game over. Front impact has damaged something on the front of the car. I can see my my bonnet flapping about. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's loose. Can't be too far from the end of the race now.
a bit of a different beast at night this is because it's very difficult to pick out the uh, the apexes So that, that's the leader on the final lap, which means the race is not far from over. And I had to crash <laughs> in the last part of it. Although I probably wouldn't have actually finished above the position I started in because of that little incident I had earlier. No trouble picking out the apexes here. Four beams on this car. There they go. Wow. That'll do. Uh, just too busy mucking around with the controls. I think at this point I've uh, screwed this race up, so I'm just going to carry on. I don't know why everything's gone purple. It's pretty cool, though. Let's blind my opponents so and might give me an advantage. Put the full of beams on, it's turned into a vodka bar in here. Yeah, that one's better. So here we are. This is the last time around, I think. No idea what position I'm in. I'll have a look now when I'm on the next straight part. <laughs> Nearly crashed down as well. Lost my train of thought, lost my flow. There's the fireworks. I'm in P15. And there's the flag. <laughs> so P15 is one up from last place. Um, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, that was uh, that's was, that's was pretty fun. But um, unfortunately, uh, did my usual trick of making a complete gock above it. Put that on my dashboard. Uh, yeah, ACC is a really good fun game. Um, it's a pity it doesn't record very well because when I've got OBS running in the background, the frame rate in VR drops quite a lot. So it's a little bit stuttery and jerky, unfortunately. But I'm not going to blame my failure on that. My failure is because um, I, I, my consistency is bad. I, I can do a couple of laps really, really well, and then I just lose my concentration and, f and fail and crash and all. Anyway, if you got this far into the video, thank you very much for watching and good on you. Um, if you feel like um, subscribing to me so that I can validate my existence, then please do so. And uh, if you want more content, then stay tuned to my channel, and I shall bring you some soon. See you later.